Hello everyone, welcome to Sky Husky Gaming, and this is the very first story. I like to call this story, Chapter 1, The Swanton Bomb. You know when you're a kid and you see something on TV and you're not, and you're like, that's not real, and you just don't believe it, and you try it, and you try to do what you saw on TV, and then you realize it, it's, it's just not the same. Well, this happened to me when I was 10 years old. Hmm. So, one day, my auntie and my sister were in the room next door to mine watching a movie. Right? And... You guys, okay, so first of all, this wrestling move was from WWE, right? And you, you, you guys know who Jeff Hardy is, right? And if you don't, he, just so you know, he does this move. Now, at, at this time, mind you, at this time, he was my favorite superstar, right? Shout out to Jeff Hardy, by the way. But yeah, he was my favorite super, superstar at this time. He still is. But he did this move called the Swan Tom Bomb. Where he would, um, where when his opponent's lying down, he would climb up the turnbuckles and do a flip in the air and land on his back, on his opponent. So, um, so at the, at the time, um, all right, let me, let me show you this real quick. Give me a second. At the time, what my room was set up like well something like this right this this is bad so my bed was here and there's another bed here right and it they weren't actual actual beds they they were just mattresses at the time right so now again I want to remind you guys <laughs> um this is seriously, wrestling is seriously dangerous, and we tend to take that for advantage, that the fact that they're fake, but, oh no, you can get hurt really bad, um, and I feel that I am living proof of that. Anyway, so, <laughs> you know how every... I think it's like sometime during every single WWE show, there's always this sign that comes up and says, please do not try this at home with the WWE logo on top of it, right? And I've always seen it when I was a kid. Now, mind you, again, I was 10 years old at this time. So I've always seen this as a kid, and I never, like, you know when, when you look at something when you're a kid, and... Like, you always read it, but you never really take it into mind, like, what it really means, and then it just comes back to you, and, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> anyway, um, so, so, yeah, um, I've always seen it as a kid, and, so, um, and I never took it seriously, right? So, my dumb self <laughs> decides, hey... I think Jeff Hardy's so cool, right? What what would happen if I tried this one time, bone? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anyway, so what happened was, so I jumped off this bed right here, this mattress, and I could you not, this hurt so bad. I hurt, it, this hurt, this pain hurt for, I was in pain from this for the entire day. But when I jumped that, when I hit that swanton bomb, like, because I used to practice wrestling moves on my pillow when I was little at the time. When I was little. So, again, my dumb self decides to jump, right? And again, mind you, I'm a, I, just, just so you know, um, I have a fear of heights, right? I have a fear of heights. And... Because Jeff Hardy, he likes to jump off ladders and stuff. So, clearly, he's not afraid of heights. And I'm thinking, okay, well, since he since he's not scared of heights, then 
what what happens if I tried the same thing? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's not the same. I could, I can tell you that. So I jumped and I landed. Okay, mind you, again, as I said in the beginning, <clears throat> Je when Jeff Hardy does the swan on him, he lands on his back. <laughs> I landed on the back of my freaking neck. <laughs> Let me tell you. I tried because at the time I was growing up and I was trying to be like all manly and stuff. Like strong. Like try not to take pain, you know. But I swear. I like the second I landed, it's like <sighs> that devastation hit me. Like I was still processing. It's like. It's like when when you feel when you feel pain, like when something just that you know re could really hurt you so bad just happen, and you feel like you hurt yourself. When you're processing it, you don't feel anything, right? But the second it comes back to your head, what you just did, you feel that pain immediately, right? <laughs> so of course that happened to me, and I. <laughs> I swear, I, I could you not. I tried to stay quiet. Like, I felt the pain for a, a couple seconds. And it's like, the more I waited to say something, the worse it got. So I was just sitting, I, I was just sitting on this mattress, right? And I was just laying there for a few seconds. It was like, maybe at least three seconds. And I, I immediately screamed, help! <laughs> help! And, yeah, um... That's basically the end, uh, but of course my my auntie, uh, she's hilarious. So she she comes in the room, and my sister. They're now mind you, they both they're both worried about me because they're worried that I could have just hurt myself and I might be in an injury, right? So because nobody let nobody likes to see a family member hurt, right? I mean. Who are you if you do? Anyway, so <clears throat> so my so my auntie like to be hilarious, right? So um, the second she saw me, like she she said, "What happened?" And <laughs> I explained to her that I tried to do a swanton bomb. Now, mind you, when I got up, like I swear to God, it hurt so much to walk. Like, and I want to say my my legs. And my waist, mostly, like, from my lower back to my waist. God, I, I, I just couldn't walk. I, 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 I just couldn't. Oh, no, wait, no. From my lower back to my tailbone. Yeah, that's how much it really hurt. So, and also my neck. But, mind you, I was just walking. So, it was really in my legs at that time. So, as soon as I got up, and then my auntie looked at me, she, and she said... Hey Malachi, what the, what what did what did they always say? What what did WWE always say? And I looked at her like, and I was and I was hardcore glaring. I was like, you better not say it. You better not say nothing. And she was like, don't they always tell you not to try this at home? And look what you did. Look what you did. <laughs> look what you did. So um, yeah, I I was something else when I was little, but. You know, now I'm a teenager, you know, so things, things change a lot, you know, but, um, I remember, like, when my mom came home, cause she, at the time, she, she was gone from the house, cause she went to go get some food, and, um, but, so, by the way, um, I like public subs, that's what she got me, she got me a public sub, but, when she came back, like, it's, it's why, like, a problem like that can be so stupid to explain somebody and so explain to somebody and it could be so embarrassing. It's even more worse when you realize you're the one who did it and you're the one looking so stupid. So I was laying in the living room. I was laying on the couch, right? And so my mom comes in the door and she's all happy and stuff. And she sees me on the couch with the nice pack on my back. And, um, she came up to me and she said, <laughs> she said, um, honey, what's wrong? And 
<laughs> I looked at her and I, I swear I felt like I couldn't even talk anymore. <laughs> like it, it had, like it, it had hit me like so hard. But like again, I was literally, I felt like I couldn't even get up anymore after, after feeling all that pain from my lower back to my tailbone walking like that. I just couldn't walk. Like I just couldn't. Um, but and in case you're asking, how did I go to sleep? Yes, this was during the daytime. So, um, well, I will actually, no, it wasn't in the day. So I want to say it was like more in the evening, actually. But in case you're asking, how did I go to sleep? Yes, the pain healed over, <laughs> over time. It did heal. And I'm glad. Thank, like, seriously, I'm so happy. Like, thank God that, that I'm better now. Like, because, man, I could have been in the hospital. <laughs> But yeah, my mom, my mom asked me what's wrong, and my auntie come, came from around the corner. She said, <laughs> she she said he tried to do a wrestling move. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I love my family. And again, who are you if you if you like seeing your family members hurt? Um, but I'm very glad that this is a good story that I can look back and laugh at because. Again, as I said before, if, if you've seen the previous video right before this one, you'll notice that I said, you got to be able to laugh at yourself. And that's basically what I just did and what I plan to do in every story that I tell. So, um, yeah, I might try to get used to this. But the lesson here is, <laughs> everybody, don't try this at home. Like... I know you may think wrestling is cool, but you won't think that move is cool when you hit it. <laughs> you hurt yourself. You're screwed. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. You're, you're basically just screwed at that point. I mean, there. I mean, unless, cause that that that's what you gotta realize. I mean, at the end of the day, these people are like, um, trained to do this. So, basically, like, you weren't trained, so you can't try this and expect to, you know, <laughs> not land like I did. <sighs> oh, man. It's just, you know, you know, I love telling stories from a while ago, you know. And then to, at the end of the day, like, just to look back at, at it, at where I was before versus where I am now, uh, I really have, I, it really makes me feel glad that I made it through times like this. <laughs> no, seriously, like, I'm, like, thank God that I made it through that, because that hurt. <laughs> but anyway, guys. I, oh, wait, I'm invisible. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed my story and that this story bought you satisfaction. And until next time, may God bless you all. Peace.